Right, welcome back. So in this session, we're gonna be talking about primarily GitHub Action secrets. Now, secrets are really important, right? Because uh, secrets are encrypted variables which we can use in the organization at the repository level to make sure that our access token, client credential, database secrets are all saved somewhere. You don't have to write in a plain text in your workflow or ci cd pipeline how do you achieve that now github uses a special mechanism that's called as lepsodium sealed box mechanism to help you ensure that secrets are encrypted before they reach github and remain encrypted until you use them in a workflow in this session we're going to be talking about what github secrets are and how you could use it in your pipeline so as you can see i've got my pipeline over here already if i go to the code base um, and you go to the workflow um, i'm going to get in the demo but i just wanted to show you what, what you're going to see so you'll you'll be able to see how you could define these secrets and all of these secrets are available over the secret section right over here all right so all the secrets are defined either in the environment level on the repository level don't get uh, you don't have to be, uh, don't have to worry about how to create them. We're gonna have a demo session right after this. But I just wanted to make sure that we set the context. Uh, so either you can set the uh, secrets in the environment level or at the repository level. When you set at the environment level or the org level, rather at the org level, which is this one, all the repository created under this organization are actually taken care of. Now you can just uh, name the secret as uh, as you want. There are no um, limitations around it. However, um, you could create as many as thousand organization secret, which is means over here, and you could have hundred repository secrets and hundred environment secrets as well. So that's the limitation generally we see. And uh, secrets are limited to 48 KB in size. So anything beyond that, which I hope you don't have. Uh, won't be fit into these uh, uh, secret type so that's pretty much in terms of the context i hope this was informative let's get into the demo this is one of my video from the entire course so do watch the video and try to understand how secrets are created in github action to access the full course i'll paste in the link in the description we learned a lot we ran gradle build we ran gradle w build and within checked if uh, docker is installed or not by running uh, the docker hyphen v command and it was uh, going to be able to give us the version of the doctor what we're going to do in this session is we're going to take a little step further we're going to list all the images docker images uh, for that we don't need to create a new image we can simply do it from here to docker images hyphen a and then we want to build the image okay how do we do it you use Again, uh, run the same step probably. It's, it's a similar step what we've been doing. Docker login, not rather Docker build. And then we can use run. And then it would be Docker build hyphen dot hyphen t. And then probably give it the name as demo Kotlin um, 2.0. Yeah, that's about it. And then I can start pushing it. Get that get commit hyphen m build docker file then git push yeah that's about it and as soon as we push it we would see that action would be triggered over here push being done action being triggered build docker file that's the commit message that's the name of our stage it's a single stage job right it's a single stage job with name as build so once this is done, I have something really uh, uh, cool feature explained for you. Uh, we're going to understand what is Docker, uh, rather GitHub Secrets. So GitHub Secret is used to variableize your encrypted uh, variable that you can create in an organization. How do you do that? You go to the settings while this has been running. I can go to the settings and on the settings page, you could have secrets and then we could have action dip and pot. I'm going to use action for now. So there are multiple level of secrets you have. You have got environment secrets, you've got repository secrets, and whatnot. Alright, so these are 
encrypted and uh, they are the uses lip sodium sealed box which means that even before reaching the github server secrets are encrypted and remain encrypted until you use them in the workflow so you have got your organization level workflow you, you which you can use to access policy to control which repository can uh, use it which means if you use it an organization level uh, you could multiple repositories can share those secrets all right and secrets stored in the environment value which we're going to use in this session um, are actually you can enable enable you to uh, reviewers to control access to the particular repositories all right uh, job cannot access environment secrets until uh, approval is uh, granted and uh, there's certain limitation you have but those limitation are actually not that hard limitation like uh, you could have as many as how a uh, thousand uh, organization secret then 100 repository secrets and then 100 environment secrets all right so these are few the fun facts about secrets i'm gonna check if the docker build is done it is okay let's try to expand the docker version it has listed down all the images and it is able to build the image all right so as soon as uh, it is build the image what we're going to do is we're going to list down the image all again and then we're going to use the docker login command to log into our docker hub all right so this build is completed i'm going to come back to my code editor intellij and now what i'm going to do is i am firstly i'm going to pipe it and going to do a docker images yeah image is fine right images hyphen a so that it can list down the new image now what i want is I want something like this. I want to log into my Docker Hub. Okay. How do you do it? You use the name again and then Docker login and then you use the run command. You start typing the Docker login. And then you need the hyphen username and password, right? How do you define the secrets over here? You use the quotes. You Open the quotes, double quotes, you close the double quotes, you type in the keyword as secret. This is this is constant for any secret, and then you could give any variable key to your secret, which is Docker Hub password. And then same you'll have to do it for username also. Alright. Open the braces, close the braces, secrets dot docker hub username all right now you must be must be wondering where these values are coming from that's the main part you come back to your secrets so underneath the settings go to the secret go to the action and start creating your repository secrets over here we use the docker hub username put it right over here that's the key name all right uh, so there are certain limitation again you can't use uh, uh, starts start any um, secret name using github because that's github in caps because they are reserved uh, secret size are limited to 64 kb so if you're trying to exceed beyond that you won't be able to do that um, and yeah that's that's the primary things you should be keeping in mind your uh, secret name should be between uh, shouldn't contain any spaces all right so i'm going to give my username value and as soon as you add it you would see that the values are redacted which means you can't see it if you try to update it you still won't be able to see it okay so now i'm going to come back to my secrets again go to my secrets into yaml create a new secret put the name over here give a pause to my video so that you can you're not able to see the super secret password All right so i've added my password and username if I try to update it nobody should be able to see it okay so now if I come back to my IntelliJ and now if I try to push the code again get add get commit hyphen m um, add docker login step and then get push 
and again this is gonna run the steps again if you come back again go to the action and this should have started the new pipeline again so yeah what do we know secrets are encrypted environment variables that you can create in an organization repository or or repository environment level how do you access it you go to the settings you go to the secrets use the action and start accessing it they are they are stored at the environment level so that you can start accessing it the name should only contain alphanumeric character between a to z 0 to 9 without any spaces and one thing it as i mentioned earlier lord so the secret name must not start with github underscore prefix so now let's suppose try to you try to add something as github underscore docker name all right random but if you try to add it it you would see an error that secret name must not start with github because they are reserved by github um, again secret name should not must not start with a number and uh, they're not the names are not case sensitive so you can use small or caps whatever is deemed appropriate how do you access these secrets which you have created you come back to your yaml and start defining at secrets dot name of your secrets again secrets dot name of your secrets all right let's go to the action and see what's cooking over here if you go to the build it is doing the build I'm gonna take a few seconds once this is completed we're gonna run gradle w build which is gonna be really quick four five seconds because the build has already been completed in the above step so this time it should be really quick does a docker build as soon as the docker build is completed uh, tries to initiate the docker login now there has there has been an error in the docker login now let's see what is the error requires at least one step so let's see what it is it says that it needs one step which is okay fine there's a typo over here and if you come back to your yaml you're going to have a dollar sign over here also because as you can see it says that it requires at most one argument so it is not able to read these values so you've got to have a dollar sign over here also i'm gonna push the changes again get push and wait for it to initiate and complete the step all right our steps are completed if you look at over here docker login is being completed now successfully logged in using our username and password as you can see that it can access those secrets which we have created over here and then it could just log in successfully what i'm interested in is just need to check the docker version uh, docker images because i want to see if the image is being built so that image is now built with docker a demo hyphen kotlin now we're going to push it so we're going to push the docker image docker image push and then run run docker push and the name of the image which is this one right i am going to add it and yeah that's about it get commit hyphen m you already should be aware about steps and docker no, get add so that's about it um we're gonna just push it so that you can run this pipeline that's about it in the next session we're gonna take a step further uh we're gonna use uh, actions github action steps rather than writing the commands manually we're gonna log into docker uh docker and azure so that we can start deploying our workload our container using this image onto a kubernetes cluster also because so far what we've been doing is we've been running it on local right we need to deploy the uh, application on an actual cluster and that's going to be azure kubernetes cluster before that we would need bunch of steps like uh, we need to log into the azure we're going to need to access the cluster and then actually deploy the image out of the cluster all right i hope this was informative this was primarily about how to create secrets access the secrets as well from github actions thank you that's it